In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can change colors in your crochet. For your information, I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. I'm using Starcraft Special DK in the color Mushroom, and I will also be using Vintage Peach. Don't forget you can get your supplies at bellacocostore.com. Okay, so I've just done a small sample piece here and I'm just coming to the end. I have used UK double crochet in the US that is known as single crochet, but this method goes for any stitch that you're using and I'll explain how you can adapt it um, in just a moment. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how you can change colors at the end of a row. And then later on in the tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change colors in the middle of a row. So what you want to do is you want to work your way to the end of the row, just as normal. And then once you get to your very last stitch, which is this one just here, you're not going to fully complete the stitch. So because this is double crochet, you're going to just insert your hook and pull through and you'll already have two loops on the hook. If you're doing a treble crochet, for example, which is double crochet in the US, you will continue the stitch until you only have two loops left on the hook. And that goes for every single stitch. So at this point, what you want to do is you want to drop your work and then you're going to grab your new color. We're gonna loop the new color over, leaving a good sort of three or four inches of a tail. So we're going to loop it over like this. We're going to grab the work and we're gonna pull that loop through those two stitches. Once you have done that, you can go ahead, grab a pair of scissors and snip off your original color, leaving a good three or four inch tail and then you can come back to your work. So at this point, you can see that the stitches are fairly loose. So what you want to do is pull down on your original color, and you'll see that just pulls that nice and tight. And then you're also going to pull down on your new color. So you're going to do a bit of both with this, just to pull those stitches down as close to the work as possible. So what you want to do at this point is chain one because that's what you would do normally. I'm again going to pull down on my stitches and from here what I'm going to do is grab these tails and then pull them in between the hook and the working yarn. And I just find that this pulls them in and makes this stitch nice and neat. I'm going to chain one again and turn my work so that I can work my way back across the other way. So I'm going to lay my, uh, my threads down here, my loose ends, so that I can work them into the work as we're going along and that saves in sewing in your ends. And you're going to do your first stitch as normal. So you would insert your hook into this stitch. You see that you're catching the stitch and you're also catching those loose ends. And then you're going to work your stitch as normal. And then again you're going to move into the next stitch and you're going to keep doing this all the way along. Now I would catch those loose ends into your work for a good one or two inches or however far you feel comfortable and then once you feel comfortable that you've um, caught them within the work you can snip off your yarn. So if I carry on working here, you can see that those loose ends are crocheted into your work. So this is a fairly small sample piece. So I'm just gonna finish um, crocheting them in at this point. So you can just drop them behind your work and just continue on with your stitches for the rest of your row. So I'm at the end of my row, I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to continue with this color for a few more rows. 
So that is your basic technique of how you can change colours from one to another at the beginning of your row. Obviously now we can see these loose threads here so I can just drop my work and snip them off. and then just give the work a little bit of a pull and it just pulls that into the work. So go ahead and work your rows as you please. I'm going to go ahead and build a few more rows so that I can show you how to change colour in the middle of a row. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you can change colours in the middle of a row. Sometimes you might have to do this if you're doing a detailed pattern, you're working a particular pattern into a piece of work, or the pattern calls for it. So it's important to remember that we always change the colour on the on the stitch before we actually need the change of colour. So for example if we need the fifth stitch along to be a different colour we actually start the change on the fourth stitch. So if we just ignore this first uh, chain one here and we go one, two, three, and four. If you remember the um, the rule before that we always leave two stitches, the last two loops remaining on the hook when we change colour. So it's exactly the same principle as before. We're going to drop this yarn and then we're going to grab our new colour. You're going to form a loop with a three to four inch tail grab hold of your work again and then pull that loop through. So we might need to pull on both of our pieces of yarn just here. Now sometimes you will need to keep this colour attached so make sure you read the instructions of whatever you're doing. I'm going to leave this because I'm going to change colours again just to show you um, how you would do that again. But that is finishing off that fourth stitch. We then lay all the threads down and continue uh, picking up our new colour to do the next stitch. So that would be the fifth stitch. And I'm going to do that for a few more stitches. So say we need to do five stitches here. That's one, two, three, four and five. If we need to change colours on the next stitch, what we would simply do is drop this colour, pick up the old colour or the original colour and then yarn over and pull through those stitches, pull on that work again or pull on those threads again and you would just continue on with your double crochet for the rest of the stitches. making sure that you're laying those stitches down and working them in to the work. So there you have your change of colour within a row. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it explains a little bit about how to change colours at the beginning of the row and within a row. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.